So if you watched yesterday's vlog, you'll know that I went kayaking. And right now, I am majorly feeling the repercussions. My shoulders hurt, and I'm a rock climber, so logically, I should already have swell shoulders. Well, I hope. But yeah, yesterday was, of course, a fun time. I went kayaking with my friend Vaughn, which is always fantastic. But today, today is going to be completely different. It's one of those unfortunate days where you have to go to work and earn the money, earn the living, and cry a little on the inside. Oh, that's how I feel anyway. So I'm just gonna cut the talk here and get going so that I arrive on time. I am running a tad bit late. I'm not too concerned about it because honestly, the timing and the scheduling is a little bit weird for this shift. So I'm not too fast. I, j I just need to leave now so that I can arrive at a dignified time. Oh my word, that ride was hard. I pushed myself super duper hard. It's really warm, meaning that I'm covered in sweat. And honestly, I, I felt like it was a headwind, but then I'm not overly sure, especially right now, because it's feeling like it's coming that way, and I went that way, so no, no, I'm not, I'm tired. But it was a fun ride nonetheless. I do feel like I need a shower, but you know, I don't think that's gonna happen anytime soon, because I'm a shwetter boy, if that makes sense. Really bad, but honestly, I don't care. But anyway, it's time for me to get on with the shift. The sooner I can get the shift over, the sooner I can go home. My shoulders are tired, my body's tired, and I'm just looking forward to a good old rest this evening. Even though tomorrow I've got a, an even worse shift, but but that's okay. It is life, and I'll do it nonetheless. And the shift is finally complete. Honestly, right now I'm not feeling particularly happy. I think I know why, but. I don't need to go into details to be quite honest with you. A little bit sad though, my sister Bethany is headed home today. Unfortunately, I love having her around and I'm going to miss her a lot. But that's okay, it is life, it is what it is in the end. We'll keep on moving, keep on being somewhat positive because I'm not a very positive person, okay? And probably just head home because home is where I'm most happy at the moment. And the sooner I can get home, the sooner I can be happy and I can actually do some more work into B-roll. I'm feeling like doing some photography tonight, some artistic stuff, which is something that I do, don't do a lot because I can never find the ideas for it. So, you know what? Let's just get going home. So I'm home now. Thank heavens. I'm feeling a lot better. It's insane what a bike ride can do. Also, what coming home to to an empty house can do. Yeah, yeah, my family is out and I'm like, yeah, it's actually pretty good. It's, it sounds terrible, but I, I, I just like it because it gives me some space and it makes me feel a little more free. But anyway, it's a gorgeous night. There's a nice cloud. So I think I'm gonna go and get my tripod and my filter, check the camera out for some time lapses because honestly I can and I think that'll be good. I haven't done a time lapse around home in a while. And frankly, I've gone a little bit lazy lately and I want to work more on my B-roll again. As I'm, I'm trying to really push myself. Like, that's just what I'm trying to do lately, to be quite frank with you. Hope you enjoyed those couple of time lapses. Now, I've been spending the last little while just watching some YouTube, which is what I tend to do when I come home from work. And of course, a lot of you will also know, well, I certainly hope so, that the new year has come and gone. It's 2018 now, and those two things to mix together have made it quite hard for me. Why? Well, very simply, all the YouTubers uploading this video is saying how awesome the years have been. And, and don't get me wrong, that's incredible. I'm so happy for them, but, Deep down in my heart, I'm quite sad for two reasons. The first reason is simply because, well, it's not me. I've tried so hard and I still can't find that. I still can't get to that point where, you know, I can just do what I want to. And here are these people getting to live that life, getting to live that dream. And that's really hard for me to watch and go, no, it's not you, Judah. And the second thing, it just adds to my whole mental state, you know, it's a new year and nothing else has changed. I'm not going to uni, I'm not doing anything special. I'm just working more. And I guess I feel like a bit of a failure, to be quite frank with you. And that's something I've said quite often because it's something I believe quite often. And that's super duper hard. But we're going to use this in a good way. We're going to use this as, as fuel to push myself as hard as possible. Why? Because the alternative is to feel the exact same next year and look at everyone and go, it's not me. 
it's them. Don't get me wrong, I'm not really setting any goals. I'm just going to try and use that negative energy as positive energy, which might sound a little bit confusing, but I'm hoping that it makes some sense.